Wolf Tick Nation. Thanks again for tuning in to another Wolf Tick Wolf Tick episode. I'll do that over again. Do it again. Take two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf Tick Nation. Thanks again for tuning in to another Wolf Tick episode. All right. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to have to use that in one of these episodes coming up. Get off my hand. All right, William Page, our boy, the yes. merchant man, the merchandise man. No, merch man. The merch, merch man. 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 You, you, you're trying to make him into something he's not. Thank you so much for opening yes. up our episode, man. I, I'm sure you should feel honored. Okay, and everybody gets whoa, to do whoa, that. Whoa, William whoa, Page. whoa, whoa! I feel honored. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. William Page, thank you uh, once again, uh, guys. We are so excited you are here to join us on today's episode because you guys see behind me. You guys got to watch this bike being built. A little bit of it. This was our Patreon build project, Gummy Worm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys got to see little bitty pieces, but on today's episode, we are fixed to do an initial impressions on the Rock Shocks Gold 35 fork. And then on a later episode, we're going to be rating this fork and put it up against the uh, Suntour Aeon, seeing which one ranks higher. Because that's really the only fork that we have to compare with this thing. It's the only one in the category, the 400, over $400 category. Over $400. So, so there's only about 470 something. Four. 50, 70, Yeah, but whatever. I mean, if you guys want to check it out, check out, the, sale or not. check out the affiliate links below. We'll try to put one in there. We'll I think find, it we'll went down here one. recently. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully stuff starts coming down. Yeah, so um, again, you know, this fork put on Project Gummy Warm. It's been the only bike that this fork has ever known. And uh, we thought, well, let's go and do an initial impression because that's something that we kind of glossed over. And we're going to be doing everybody's favorite. It, it's like right here. Done. It's smooth and it's pretty easy. We're going to be getting that out of the way as well. And then, like I said in later episode, we're going to be doing a real-time review on this thing and kind of putting it through spaces. Yeah, I can't wait for that. I really want to see how it ranks compared to the other one. I'm sure, I know Jamie H4, one of our other patrons, Jamie H4 is super excited about what, what, it. He's I, been how waiting. do you know this? He's been waiting. Am I missing something? No, you are. I answer his, I answer his comments. But okay. All right, guys. Well, Wolf Tick Nation, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are excited, okay? If you ain't a part of the Wolf Tick Nation, even if become part of the Wolf Tick even Nation. Even if you're not excited, it's free. Just yeah. hit it. It's free, all right? Let's get to the install on Project Gummy Worm, alrighty? And then uh, we'll see you guys back for the Wolfman Dino. Well, let's give some initial impressions while we're installing. Right, guys, here we go. The RockShox 35 Gold. Oh, oh that, buddy. Yeah, ball opener. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah. Alright, so, hey, so we got a um, got a little star nut action. We're going to be using that. Star nut action. Mm -hmm. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah, we've 100 and 60 millimeters of travel. 160 millimeters of travel. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Uh, you know what, though? I'm over here pouring beer. Yeah, I know. You're, you're more worried about that. I'm always more worried about the beer. Let's be honest. Damn, guys. This always. thing right here, um, we're going to have to remember to weigh this thing. William knows it, what I'm talking weigh, about. It's so freaking light for a Rock Shock fork. It is so light. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and check and see if indeed the stanchions are 35 millimeters. That's where the 35 comes in. I'm, I'm guessing it's got to be, right? Mm. All right, 35.15 okay. millimeters. This is going to be interesting Tape. because this one here, this, um, uh, what do you call it, caliper, only goes to 153 millimeters. Okay. So we'll be able to find out real quick. And the exposed stanchion is over 153 by a little bit. So let's see here. I mean, it is about like that. So at six, it's right, so at, right at it's right at 160 millimeters so for this. So we're gonna call it right at 160. Right Although at 160. we don't know the pressure yet, it could no. need more pressure. And it might stretch. All right, let's check the air. We've got uh, shipped right at 65, right? It was 65. Oh yeah, that's low, huh? Yeah, it's pretty low. What, so we actually what, might get there, more. Is there a chart on this? Yeah, thing? and it does have a chart. What's it? So say? riders 140 to 160 pounds is 75 to 85. Okay, so now with 160 millimeters of travel, I think we should go to 75. 75 to 85? You don't think? Well, you know the trace. We did run a trace at 77. Uh huh. Let's go to 75. All right, we'll try 75. We'll try 75. Gonna, but it came with how much? 65. 65. Okay, it came with 65. Now I don't know if it's for weight or what, but um, the steer tube is 10 and right under a half. It's a pretty damn long steer we'll call tube. It 10 .5. We'll call it 10 and a half. 
Um, now, I don't know if it's a weight issue or what, but it's something I don't like with RockShox stuff is the caps are plastic. Like, Suntour has damn good quality, and even um, even the X-Fusion stuff is, like, all aluminum up here. And these are plastic. I don't like that plastic feel to them, you know? But it looks like we've got the uh, compression knob up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So five clicks there. And we've also uh, got the rebound on this guy. You can see that, right? We've got the key thing. And so we've got 15 clicks of rebound pretty much. 15 clicks? Yeah. Damn, this thing's a beast. It is a beast. Oh my gosh, Berserker. It's a beast. It's a butt beast. Torque cap compatible, 15 by 110. All right, so cool. Um, now, I guess let's go ahead and uh, get this fork. And let's weigh it. This thing is just stupid big, man. You guys see how big this thing is? It's amazing it's how... stupid big. All right. You're th I'm thinking right at five pounds. I said 4.71. 4.71? Right? Yeah, that's what I said. Let's see what pounds. we got here. All right. Oh, I think you called it. Dude, 5.03. Pounds. Yeah. Damn. 5.03 pounds. You called it. I'm I called it. Well, I'm the one that's on. Damn. That's a good looking fork. 5.03 pounds. I'm the man. That's the first thing I've ever officially called. <laughs> yeah, I think you the did. first thing ever. I usually beat you on that. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Let's get Project Gummy Worm over here and uh, let's go ahead and measure out that head tube because I'm not certain on what size it is. You know, they had the two different sizes. Golly, I can't believe we're getting to work on this bike. Finally. It's been a freaking journey, man. Yeah. Again, all you patrons, thank you guys so much, man, for everything. Uh, it's been awesome. Um, you going to cut that fork now? 44? Yeah. 44 on the top, mm -hmm. which we knew. Now is it a 45 or a, I I mean it, a 55 or a 56? I think it's a 55. Okay, it is a 55. It's 54.3. It's a 55. So uh, we've got the 55 to 44.55. 40, 40, yeah. Now, the Jessica that we ordered is a 44.56. So that is not going on this bike. Sorry, Jason. What is going on this bike is going to be this old mix. Well, Jason would be happy about that if you were a patron. Yeah. Do they know? Do you guys know the Jessica story? We should we should be telling that. Um, I don't know if you guys know the Jessica story. Well, I think I think most people understand the whole sorry Jason thing. I don't know if they know where it comes from. Well, I'm where sure it comes somebody, from? Like Berserker probably knows. And yeah. There's a few that Maybe around Brandy. I don't know if Brandy's been around that much, or Kevin, or um, I don't think William's been around that long. But William, or William Page, or even uh, but yeah, Justin like, Johnson. The Wolfman can't leave it on right now. Yeah, turn this okay. on. Yeah, right, so, so so what, do you want to tell a story? You want no, go ahead, because I'm going to put this headset in and we'll hear yeah, Wolfman tell the story. All right, so what happens is, you know, I mean, it's been a while back now. A long um, time ago. Like, we're talking, God, it's been like, probably a year and a half, something ago. I got to look back. We were doing uh, stuff on headsets. I think we are doing a headset video or something. We are doing something related to headsets or whatever, installing a, a Jessica headset. And... Uh, Jason, he comments, and uh, you know he's, he's an East Coast guy. You can tell by the comments he's an East Coast guy. I never heard his voice, but you can tell he's an East Coast guy. Anyway, he comments and he says something like, I'm "Putting grease on this." All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, he says, "Man, I couldn't. I'd have to do a different, uh, different headset. I couldn't do Jessica. That's the name of my ex, and oh, I can't, I can't stand her." And uh, and so. And then he said, he made a statement like if he did a, a, a Jessica, if he had a Jessica top cap, he, he couldn't look down and see that name Jessica on there. He'd wrecked the bike or uh -huh. something. It was just going on about it or whatever. So I don't know what spawned it. We were, we were doing something. We had done with the Jessica headset. We're like, well, sorry, Jason. Yeah, he had just commented, and then it was like the third and the fourth. It was like every every headset we're using because yeah. they're so cheap yeah. were the Jessicas. Jessica headset. And um, so ever since then, it's been, sorry, Jason, because... Yeah. Uh, and then it became, instead of becoming a Jessica headset, it became a Sorry Jason. Yeah. It just, over time, we made the shirt. Uh, so now, if you guys ever pay attention to a headset video or something that involves us saying Jessica, you will always see that Jason Cerecio usually has something to say about or, it. And it's or usually we say a, Sorry Jason. God, this thing is so nice. This is uh, the one that um, Chris H. sent us, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very nice of him to do that. Yep. Damn, man. But, All right. So we got the headset set. Now, uh, let's go and take a look at what we're gonna do with this fork. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about and seeing how long we should keep the steering tube. Now, I think uh, we should get this stem out. We'll take a look at this stem that we're gonna be installing with it. The fun stem, 
This is a Crossfire MTB with a clamp of a 31.8 and it's 35 millimeters long. Is that uh, Kevin Hodges as well? Kevin Hodges as well. Dude, this thing is sweet looking, man. And it's blacked out. I didn't notice, oh, we didn't open it, but I didn't notice the writing on the side. Check out the writing. You see that? Gloss, uh, Crossfire. Is it just Kevin H on here? Kevin H. Now, one thing I did want to say as well, we didn't show you guys, this is on mail time. These are the spaces we're going to yeah. use. Well, they seem to be ready by now. Yeah, you guys saw it. Oh, uh, David. David. FSA. Check those out, man. Though. Check those out. Yeah. What we need to do is put a couple on oh, here. It's going to fall all the way down in there. Oh, the dust cat's got a rubber gasket on it, too. Oh, bonus. That's nice. Jessica's don't have that. That's but no. Can you guys you, see that? You've got to have room to adjust the way you want it to feel. Okay, so there it is there. Don't cut it. Dad, I got to cut L it. Listen. No, li don't start. Is that recording? Yeah, it's recording. Don't start f up and f Listen, this is important. This is a lot of money going on this one. What you need to do is this. You're going to need to be sized out on your riding position before you cut that. What, what is, what do we got that, what's, what is um, Ron Burgundy set up as? Okay, Let me go just check it out real quick. Let about, Let's go check Ron Burgundy real quick just so we can be sure. Okay, well, I can't sit and hold this all night, so. Just taking it outside. You got this the row of bikes, huh? Yeah, it's the other way. All right. So this is where the stem is. Okay, you see where the stem is? Uh-huh. Okay, and this stem right here has no rises to wake. And I am right at less than an inch from the bottom. Okay, so if we go an inch, you should be fine, you think? Okay, let's go back in there. Let's measure it real quick. Mm -hmm. So it's right at the same. Yeah. Watch your fingers. I'm not going to cut all the way around it. There's, there, there's no need to have that finger up there. Then you don't want to learn. Yeah, I'm curious on what that's going to measure out to. Hang on, don't, don't say it again. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to mine over here. No, we got to Keep your up. That's so nerve wracking. I always want to know what the length is. Yeah, that's uh, seven and a quarter. Okay. So, can you guys see this? We're going to start cutting on her. Make sure we do an exquisite job here. Please. Watch this be the fork that, you know. Um, I just, this part right here, I, I almost have to leave the room. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. My hand. What the f is on it? Yeah, I don't know. I hate that. Oh. Mm. It's Ooh. like it's like teeth crumbling or something. Now. Okay. Deeper than. Let's deburr it, and then uh, we'll move on. Okay. Is that it already? So no. no. Wait, I thought so premature, Willie. You're about to say so easy and all that. You're going to be a premature like a son of a bitch. Premature? You only hit the reflex by kicking the <laughs> out of this. But boom! <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Right, yeah. When that thing hits light a certain way, that, that, holy <laughs> shit, that is awesome. Guys, it's so pretty. They're gonna, they, we're going to build it up so much you can see the person goes, is that it? Here we go. Here we go. sitting outside. Why is there a wet spot? Smell that. That might be piss. That might be an animal peed on it if you didn't. No. It's not piss? No. Okay. Thankfully it's not. Good. All right, guys. We are here with the Wolfman Dino. Everybody's favorite segment. The what? Wolfman Dino. Yes, exactly. Dino. All right. Let's do this. Just let's got done with the do install. This. Fastest of rebound. Okay. Fastest. Full open let, me, on let, the get, let me get up on it. I like being up on get it. Get up on it. You ready? Go ahead. And we've got 70 PSI in this thing. Yeah. 70. Well, I tell you what, it's pretty damn smooth. Even with a fast rebound. Yeah, it's smooth. It, it, with a fast rebound, it's, it doesn't feel, it doesn't shoot back at you, but it definitely, this... Now that's three clicks off okay. of the fast. I don't feel a huge difference in that, but it's okay. not like a tiny bit of difference. Okay, that's nine clicks off a of rebound. Okay, I'm starting to feel it more Yeah, now. you can hear it now. You can hear that oil circulating. You know what this fork has real quick before you keep going? Hmm. 
it has that progressive feeling that the higher end forks that we've messed with seem to have. Like this one's the most so far I felt where it, it like right here, it's smooth and it's pretty easy, right? Yeah. As soon as I go further, like right there, do you hear that? Like. It, it, it becomes really difficult to, uh, so it progressively gets harder, which is what it should do. That's a good, it's not soggy yeah. the whole See, way See, a lot of, the, lot of the, the, the less expensive, cheaper forks, if you will, they'll, they, they have a, like, a spot where they're right in here, where it's like you can feel it resist a little bit, and then it just stops getting harder, like it just goes. You it, get what I'm it, saying? It, yeah, it's soggy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is full slow. I ride full with slow? these things. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Now, now... That that riding wise, it's probably me good. But let me tell you that I like it to be able to go a little more than that for me. More. So for me, I like it a little bit more. Where it goes, you know, like like it really, it yeah. But that's that. It feels good right there. You'll okay. probably ride in that area. So now this fork does have damping. Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's about five clicks till we get to the lockout. Okay. So there's one off of full open. Okay, I think I, I, maybe a little bit of difference there. Okay. Oh, this yeah. That fine tuning, okay. guys. Okay, boy, this is gonna be some fine tune. You're gonna have to find your fine tune it. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. You can. Oh yeah. No, there is a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now, careful on this one because it's getting close to lock. It might. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a okay. trip. Yeah, that's kind of like that's kind of like a lockout on uh, on yeah. the Sun Tour. I can except see that. for it actually kind of. Makes I can. It... You know what's nice about that? I mm. can see riding like some cross country stuff mm. and having it on that. With that rebound, versus, what's that? To have a lock. good medium. Well, let's see what the lock, lock is like first. All right, now it's locked. Oh, now this didn't hurt me. It doesn't have that oh. completely solid lock. But I will say this. It progressively gets tighter as it goes. It, it just, yeah. but, but it hits a wall, though. Like, it's like right there. Yeah. Like, it don't want to. So, I will say that is a lockout. Yeah. All right, so it's going to be pretty interesting. I this here is just a Wolfman thing. Dino. Yeah, this is just a Dino. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's do an right. outro. All right, All right it, guys. Well, it a feel? that was another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We appreciate you guys watching as always. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Turn the notifications on to see where this fort ranks. It's a pretty damn salty I'm looking, fork. I'm looking forward to your uh, review on it. Me too, because really the only fork that we have to compare it to mm -hmm. is the Suntour Evo, the 35. Yeah. You know, um, so... Yeah, that's only... Okay, that's the only... Yeah, what you're talking about is the category. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's in the over four hundred dollar category. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I in in the other fork, you know, a lot of people didn't think thought I didn't like the other fork, the Aeon or whatever. Yeah, because the lockout. Call it Evo. Aeon. Yeah, it's just the, the lockout. And maybe I was a little bit. Uh, maybe I meant I should have went one point deduction, not two points. But I don't want people to think for a second that I dislike that fork. That fork was great. It's an Aeon Evo. An Aeon Evo. Aeon okay. Evo. Okay. That fork is now on Project Chong, our other Patreon build. But for sure, man. Well, guys, um, we will see you on the next episode. Make sure notifications on, okay? Hit that like button. Subscribe if you ain't part of the Wolf Tick Nation. Um, anything else? No. All right. We will see you. Yep. Yeah.